Okay. Where was that, Japan? How been? I can't fucking wait until my glasses arrive. I didn't realize how bad I can't see until I put my old glasses on. It was like, wow, I can see. And now I'm just waiting for glasses that mean I can actually see because the current ones give me a headache after a little while, which sucks. Hey. Check that all the settings are correct, yeah. What are we driving then? Ooh. Trans car. Nice. See, the fact that this is number one, so number one is um, the number one livery is almost always like a, a team car based livery. Yeah, that's number five. What's number one here? Our number one is just white. Number one's usually a team car based livery, I think. That's team car. That looks like the golf team. That's pretty transy. That's sick. Yeah, we're going with this. Let's go. Let's go. I'm hoping that my headphones don't fall apart. I had to take... I used to use this, like weird rubber oh, fucking hell I forgot I was in weird cars uh, I used to use this weird rubber like s double sided sticky tape and it's super sticky but it moves a lot because it's thick and now I've built up like three or four layers of double sided regular double sided sticky tape and it might fall off because I'm not sure how sticky it is because the one layer didn't work, but it feels like one layer didn't work because it was too thin. So we'll see if the magnet stays on. It's had a day to dry because it really wasn't sticking yesterday. It feels alright. It might, like, the problem is if I take it on and off, is it just going to die? And I don't want to spend a tenner on new fucking magnets because, like, I've got two magnets. I just one stuck to a different pair of headphones. I also apparently need to buy 10 fucking... Currently my microphone... So the cable broke. Or it didn't break but the outer cable broke and it looked like it was going to get worse. So I duct taped that up with some electrical tape. So it's now wrapped in tape uh, at, the, at the join. From like soft plastic sort of rubber cable to the hard plastic of the actual mic then the fluffy thing that goes over it tore so that video that I released has some fucking horrible plosives because the thing was facing the wrong way and so yeah I'm just ignoring them because I recorded that bit and did it really well and it took a long time to figure out it does it's one bit it's one specific actually no it's two bits it's the what is it so it's the cry link showing off the bfg slash cry link in the wet in the first weapon section that actually isn't too bad that one's not too bad but then there's a re-recording of what is it there's a re-recording of something what's the, what's the last thing i recorded the last thing i recorded because the Crylink, most people probably won't notice the plosives because uh, the video quality goes to shit. That's just the map. That That's just YouTube and the map because it looks alright on my computer. I checked. I was like, can I fucking re-render this shit? Maybe? No. No, I can't. It's just the map being ass. I should have known. I've played those maps enough, I know what they look like on YouTube. I should have probably recorded 1080p with higher settings so that it didn't get compressed as bad, but it's fine. 
Oh, mate, do you want to see my outfit? I'm in a skirt and thigh highs and a cool hoodie. Uh, can I send it on uh, Telegram? Because I don't have it on What's It and I'm lazy and can't be asked to. Okay, who's got it? Steph. There you go. Forward. Here you go. I'm really, really hoping that nobody ever breaks this game through pausing mechanics because otherwise all of my records are going to be invalidated because all of this grind has just been me pausing in the middle of runs because like oh, fuck it doesn't matter for me doing this i'll come back if i feel like it they're rhino slippers i'm wearing them a lot because my feet get cold and yeah they're good and thigh highs are shit for actually keeping your feet warm. My dad borrowed a pair uh, for Halloween because he did a pirate costume and he was like, oh, have you got those fucking long socks? Can I borrow a pair? Yeah. Just wear an actual pair of socks underneath them because otherwise your feet will freeze to death and you're just gonna, like, they're, they're dog shit. They're not good socks. And he said, I wore them, he wore them for warmth and because they kind of worked and he realised he was going to be in shorts. But he was like, yeah, they don't actually do anything for warmth, do they? Like, no, you were expecting that, because he was expecting them to be like um, cycling wa leg warmers, but they are just not. I think he was expecting them to be cycling leg warmers because I use the arm warmer versions as arm warmers because they're super fucking cheap. So going to work and getting them wet and I don't care about them. But they're still dog shit. Yeah, mirror would be so normal about boys. Well, men in thigh highs. What? Like, fucking. I think about this from time to time. Like, would I be non binary if boys were allowed to wear skirts? I think the answer is probably still yes, but would I ever have realised it is the question. If it was normal for that sort of shit, would I ever have realised it? And the answer is probably no, but I would wear skirts a lot more. Like I would currently be not sat in my bedroom in a skirt playing video games, I would probably be, oh fuck, I would probably be at the skate park in a skirt at the minute. Because it's supposed to piss it down all day today and it still hasn't fucking started raining. So I kind of wish I'd gone out on my skateboard this morning. But like, it was supposed to start raining at 9. So I didn't bother going. And then I went and made lunch. It is getting warm now, yeah. It is getting warm. I fear it's going to do something dumb, but I hope it doesn't. But I also think, like, so I haven't worn my, I have once, this year I have once worn my three quarter, so for cycling I've got, like, cycling shorts, the tight lycra cycling shorts, then underneath those I've got leg warmers, which are like thigh highs but the socks are cut off. Right, so they, and they're proper, th come up all the way to your thigh and go all the way down and then into your socks. And they're leg warmers, they'll keep your legs warm in the winter. So you just wear shorts and then you put them on. It's brilliant. Then, uh, I've got knee warmers, which kind of make your trousers into like three quarters. Still tight, but you know, three quarter trousers. I've worn them once this year and the only reason I wore them was because it was a ride and it was raining and my long trousers absorb, a, my long leg warmers absorb a lot more water than my knee warmers 
and it was a long ride and it was pissing it down at the start so I had to ride it in the rain and then it stopped raining for the most part after like half an hour but I didn't want to be wet all fucking day and it wasn't too cold so it was alright but I haven't shaved my legs pretty much all winter and now I have to get back to remembering to do it because otherwise it like it's warm enough on a weekend and I'm wearing shorts and I'm like, oh fuck, my legs have hair on them. This is bullshit. The fuck is this horseshit? I mean, for one, it looks bad and how am I supposed to pull off my Femby vibes if I've got hairy legs? But number two, aerodynamics. I'm like pedaling harder than I have to be. And I already do that by having terrible fucking off-road tyres and riding mostly on the road and refusing to fix my terribly unaerodynamic cable management because it's easier to work on even though I still hate working on it but at least I do when I have to and at least, it, like if I have to, if the cable snaps I can re-cable it in like 10 minutes fucking way better than 20 minutes Honestly, I think if it took me half an hour to change a cable and that was like what it actually takes me start to finish because then it would take me like four hours to do the entire just to change a cable because I'd fuck around with so many other things. But like, Jesus Christ. A friend of mine asked me, can you change a dropper post cable, which is like a cable that goes to your seat post to make your seat go up and down, so that when you're going down the hill you get the seat out of the way, when you're going up the hill you put it back so you can pedal, sit on it and pedal, um, so that when you do a jump it doesn't go up your ass. And he asked me, oh can you change the cable, because mine's gone shit. I was like, does it go through the frame? It's like, yeah it goes past the e-bike the, the e battery. Like, fuck that. <laughs> In the politest way possible. Now. Ah, shit. Well, my microphone's fallen off. Fuck. God fucking damn it! What am I supposed to do? Because I can't use the fucking... Oh, Jesus Christ. What am I actually supposed to do? How am I supposed to attach this? If double-sided sticky tape, which is sticky to my finger, just doesn't stick to these headphones. Like, they're fucking flat! The bit I'm attaching it to is goddamn flat and it's so sticky. It's not stuck to another piece of... I put a piece of double-sided sticky tape down, right? So the plan was, put a piece of double-sided sticky tape on the fucking headphones themselves. There is still a piece of double-sided sticky tape on the headphones. So it's not now not sticky to the headphones, it's not sticky to the... What the fuck? No! Tape doesn't like tape! It's not- it's stuck to everything except for the fucking- oh, what the fuck? Why? Why does it not stick? And what the feck am I supposed to do about it? Like, I genuinely don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do about it. I'm- um, how's the volume? Does this sound okay? Fuck, people are actually here to tell me if this sounds okay. Normally I'm just testing this shit on my My microphone is supposed to be in front of your face microphone. is now sat on the desk. In a desk. Yeah, distant and quiet, that makes sense, because I'm fucking distant from the microphone. God fuck damn bollocks cunt wank. And I can't use the old method, because I've fucking covered everything in duct tape. God pissing damn it.
Yeah, just get some fucking plastic weld and absolutely bitch it together forever. This is the problem. I don't... Because so the, the old stuff I used was working. It's worked for like a year. The problem with it is that the microphone would always be in a different place because it was like... It was double-sided sticky tape, but it was like almost a gummy gel in between. So it meant that the piece... So I should explain how my microphone attaches. There's a magnet with four triangles around the outside, like pyramid-type triangles. And there's one side of the magnet on the microphone, and one side of the magnet is just a magnet piece that sticks to the headphones. So if you snag it, then the magnet comes off. When I got the pieces, there was two... When I got the microphone, there was two in the box. They... The sticky tape that they use is really good sticky tape. It's the fancy 3M, like, really thin foam stuff, probably a quarter of a millimetre. Maybe third, something like that. Fourth out. I don't know. Don't know inches. Um, but it's like really thin shit. And it was great. And then you take it off of the headphones and now I'm fucked. Because I've got one on my other headphones and one on this headphone. And I've never been able to make it stick properly. And it doesn't fucking work. And it's bullshit. And like... It, it moves around all the time, and I should just go back to. The I need to find that car sticky tape again because it worked, it didn't fall off. Which, like, you know, as much as it was terrible and didn't work properly, at least it didn't fall the fuck off. Oh. EP May. I wonder if I can do this. I mean, not fucking really. This is an absolutely horrific method of attaching my microphone. The cable is now jammed through the ear cup. The microphone is facing backwards. In the corner of my eye about to poke me in the eye is the magnet full of sticky tape which now has a few strands of hair attached to it. I really need to get a haircut. It also has a few strands of hair so this is going to be to take off. Um, you know you fucked when you've got the tape doesn't fix it. Ooh! is fairly strong. I wonder if I could just use some double, some mass, some um, electrical tape, stick it over the top. Electrical tape stretchy, so just like stretch it over the top, force them together so that they are the right size. And that should be strong enough to go through them. And I might just have to like, worst case scenario, cut the circle out where the actual magnet is. That could work. That could work. I swear though, it's like a really clever system that just simply doesn't work if you ever change your headphones. Where well, you get a, you get a chance to change your headphones once, but then I think they expect you to just break the, the microphone for the next. One. Sucks, it's like, no, it's expensive. <laughs> like, it's a 50 pound microphone. It's fucking good. And they now rate this microphone as their unique quality. It's good for voice calls. It's not good for professional audio broadcasting. It makes the same one that like five years ago you were calling with professional audio broadcasting. For fuck's sake. It's 
perfect sound. Really if you put the right settings on it. The five pound one I have before this sound is pretty good. Anyway, back to the head for it. So yeah, the microphone left this for now. Um, and it's now held on by electrical tape. So that's good. Uh, guess what? You can only buy fucking ten of at a time. This thing that has lasted, I don't know even though I've got this microphone, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's nearly ten years. It would have been like I definitely had it in 16. I'm pretty sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if I got it in 20... It definitely came after I got this computer, which I got for Christmas in 2013. So then... 14 birthday would probably be... Uh, it means it's 10 years old for 2014 just it didn't buy it so it's either late February 2014 or Christmas 2014 or I don't know if it's 2015 I'm pretty sure it wasn't 2016 so I've had it a fucking while so buying 10 of the fluffy people Sounds. It's literally just we can't sell you one of these. We can only sell you ten of these because it's not worth selling anything less than one of these. You know? Also, unless you order them from China or wait for them to arrive direct from China, in classic eBay fashion, you can only get them in one colour and that's black. So if I wanted to get a pink or a blue one, I have to wait ages and ages and ages for that express and wait ages and ages and ages, which I might do, because it would be quite nice. I don't want to order them if this microphone's fucked and I can't actually get it to work properly. Because then I'll probably just end up with the old system I used to have, which is a lapel mic that sticks onto the cable. The biggest problem with that was that every time you did like wiggle your head, it went rattle, rattle, rattle. Because it was on the cable, so it hit it into things. Computers are silly.
Nobody car is Well, fucked it up anyway, actually, because it's meant to be at night rather than in the rain, but I should check, just in case, we're in the rain. The plan, hopefully it's in room 4, uh, the plan is to do the initial room car, all the distraction guys. Uh, It's either in my sister's room, I also need to find an actual pair of scissors. I can't, like, I don't know what to do to put the microphone, how to put the microphone. Okay, we're back. So I've just gone downstairs, found some sticky dots. They may be semi-permanent, but they seem to have actually stuck on better. There's no packaging for them, so I don't know if they're permanent sticky dots or semi-permanent sticky dots. King, who knows? Who gives a shit? They seem to actually be working better than the sticky tape at the minute. I put two on because they didn't quite f cover things. Yeah, that will be way better for the volume because the microphone is back on my face now rather than like under my chin. It's now in its regular position in front of my mouth where it should fucking be. Because this microphone is a great microphone. Uh, like genuinely not taking the piss there. Uh, damn British, I apologise. I always sound sarcastic. Um, there's a sketch of that. It's, Doing a, how sarcastic British people are. It's probably Mitchell and Webb. And getting mar two people getting married. I do. You sure? You sound sarcastic. Yes. I just always sound sarcastic. Just assume that I'm being. I probably assume I'm being sarcastic because I'm probably being sarcastic more often than I'm not being sarcastic. I just permanently talk shit.
What do you make for dinner? Uh, I don't know what's in your cupboards. I had beans on toast. Fair. Uh, I don't know. I uh, what? I can't think of things to eat. I forget to eat. I just completely and utterly forget to eat. I used to get complained at when I was at work because I ate the same thing every single day. And they're like, well, why don't you get bored of it? Well, I'd just forget to, what I wouldn't make anything. I just wouldn't have anything if I had to think more than two seconds. I know what I'm doing. I've got it down to a fucking science. Making two sandwiches, some shit, and you know. It's easy, it's quick. I can do an entire pat lunch in ten minutes. And then they go something like, oh, it takes me twenty minutes to decide what I'm going to have. Like, I know. I've only got 10 minutes to give a shit about food each day. It's just going to be made out of quality components for me. I'm like... As long as it's decent quality. Bread that's soft like a boob. And if it's not that soft, microwave it. Like ultimate fucking cheese toasty is just smashing a cheese sandwich in the microwave. <laughs> Fuck it, be fine. Risotto is good. I like risotto. I should learn to actually make risotto, like risotto, risotto, because my risotto is great. You you take some rice and do it like normal, not risotto rice, just rice, basmati or long grain, whichever you prefer. You take a tin of hot dogs and do like four hot dogs. Heat them up, chop them up, and put them in the rice. Peas, sweet corn, chopped pineapple slices, like pineapple chunky bits, usually out of a tin. Boom. Fucking done. Bit of cheese. Why are you scared? What's, what's happened? Dot hogs. Okay. Just hot dog. No, oh, it's fine. What the fuck are you on about? It's, mate. Normally in this situation I'd say just ask me about it and, and she'll tell you. She'll tell you it's normal. She won't tell you that one's normal. That one's not normal. That was not normal, but it is good. It is good. The trick is working out how how long you need to be doing the rice for before you start doing everything else so that everything's ready at the same time. Because every single item in that meal is one of those things where if you just leave it on a plate on the side, it goes cold really quickly. So you have to be microwaving your peas and sweet corn at the right time to make sure that everything like is good across the board and it doesn't just go cold sitting on the side and you don't have to reheat it again. Yeah, no, it's not. This this one isn't like beans on toast where it's a, tr a generally British thing. This one, I am fairly sure, is my family and my family only.
Yeah, getting everything done at the same time is difficult. I do it when I'm making curry. I have like the ultimate fucking panic of everything making curry. So making rice, cook it till it's evaporated all the water, then uh, leave it for 10 minutes just sitting there off the heat. Now if you're making curry out of a jar, at that point you need to put the curry and start to cook the curry. But what you should have done before you did that is defrost the meat or fake meat, whatever you're using. Because that needs to go in first. I generally don't. Yeah, it's those things, it's like, yeah, it's fine if it's all cooking together, but it's more when you, when one thing like rice is separate. And it just kind of sits, and you need it to be timed correctly. I know, it's probably just me wanting to synchronise everything properly, and have it all done, and I hate, like, hate waiting for things while other things are running. Like, why would I wait for A when B could be done while A is being done? You know? I hope... I really hope Turbo skips to this bit when he's checking the the speed run, because he will he will probably also be sat there going, "What the fuck are you on about?" Yeah, focusing is hard. That's why I'm doing this rather than doing cat face runs, because I know I won't be able to focus on cat face runs. This is just easier because I don't have to care. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. Oh no, I've already done the just go. And I do cat face with um with a no reset mentality. Like the only reason I'll reset for cat face is if I immediately crash into a wall and set myself on fire. Or get terminal damage or something. Yeah, but trying to go faster. Yeah, I do cut face runs, no reset. I prefer it with this game, because, like, I play the fucking most reset heavy game in the world. I honestly think Defrag is probably the heaviest reset game, because you literally. No other game. Do you reset before you get to the fucking start line? I, I honestly, I don't think there is any other game out there that you reset before you get to the start line. Mario Kart, you can blow yourself up, you can get the wrong start boost. But Defrag, you, you flick your mouse just a little bit wrong during the first turn, and you reset that shit. And I'm at that point on a hell of a lot of maps. I've played over a thousand... Have I played a thousand maps yet? I think I've played a thousand maps. Either that or like 800. But I'm at that point on a lot of maps. Where I just gotta reset it. Yeah, cat face runs are good. I just full send in cat face. It's more fun. Because the thing is, like, cat face, because we only have. Oh shit. We only have two weeks to do it, yeah? And when I'm speedrunning something like, say, Mario Kart, I'll do a bunch of runs where I won't reset because there's no need to reset because I'm just getting better and better as I go. 
So I basically never get to the point where, unless I crash, oh, fucking hell. Hey, cuz. Crazy Al followed. Crazy Al followed. This... I can't believe it. After all these years, he's only just followed. <laughs> I'll play Defrag later. I need to do... Is there an alternate walk-up? I've lost track. The Defrag racing thing's really difficult to read whether there's cups on or not and then it gives you a shitload of notifications and it's like this guy's beating your time on this map but I know especially my f I really do need to improve one time but it probably won't matter because I'm not that good I've got a pretty much last place time on I think it's cool PM I literally just logged on to one random server when I went back when you had to have a Q3DF account to get on the Discord. And I just literally logged onto one random server, sent it. I was like, I've got this comp I've I've got this account, but I don't have an online time because I got the account to play uh, World Championships, and that was it. No, yeah, fair enough. There's a DF comps though, isn't there? Walk, red gear will walk up. Because I need to play the hard maps. Actually, like... Yeah. What is it? The only reason I hope it's not strafe is because I need to learn how to do the things that aren't strafe. What is it? Oh no! Okay, yeah. I vaguely recognise that. Hey, hello. I might have played that. Home Momentum mod gets something like a walk up type thing built in. That'd be pretty cool. Even if it's just like community highlighted map, because that's going to be. That's 100% going to be um, my main thing with not playing Momentum mod in the same way that I don't play Quake 3 Defrag is. Xenotic's just so comfy for having 20 minute map rotations. I can't even remember the maps in Mario Kart to like decide what to play. There's only 16 of those in half of the games. This isn't even a rally game where he's always you're annoying yet correct. I know. No, no navigator. No, no uh, co-driver. It's great. 
No one to be slightly sarcastic in Welsh when you crash into something that they said don't cut. Although there's a lot of weird shit you can do in this game, like wall riding and stuff like that. Uh, when the new WRC game from uh, EA came out uh, late last year or early this year, whenever it was, one of the guys that's really good at this game went into that game, bought it, started doing fucking wall rides because it turned out you just could, did a bunch of cuts, posted them under the name Art of Rally Player Plays Cody's uh, WRC. The devs had to respond because it went like everyone was just watching this guy do fucking wall cuts because the only thing we can't ride against in this game is those railings act as though the posts holding them up are the only part like there's no top to them in the f um, collision detection so it basically acts like you're crashing into a post. Which is good because it means you can't just like drive straight at the final corner right there and just wall run it round and just send it. But there's some crazy bowl cuts in Kenya where you just send it round the inside of something. Game's great though. We were right before I'm not sure if you joined while I was still talking about it. I was talking about Defrag right before you joined. Because... In this game, I like to do stuff no reset. And just... If I crash, it's fine. And just, you know, keep going and keep going. Because Defrag is such a reset heavy game. Because you... It's the only game I can think of where you reset before you actually start the goddamn game. Other than things like Minecraft, um, glitchless. But there's nothing where you're actually playing the game and you can fuck it up before the start line. That is true, I did reset a lot less when I played VQ3. And I definitely reset a lot less for time reasons. It was more falling into holes that actually just auto kill you. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this week's DF comps map in uh, VQ3. Because I couldn't a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't complete it in CPM either, but I didn't really give it enough of a shot. Probably could have, but VQ3 I think would have been a bit outside of my skill level. Yeah, it's HGB, it probably means I can. Because those maps are either incredibly difficult or pretty finishable. You can usually cheese them. That's what I mean. They're either incredibly difficult or they're finishable. There's not like, there's not that middle ground where it's really difficult for me to finish the map, but probably really easy for someone who can do all of the techniques and get through. Like, there's no che there's no cheese kind of things where you can just fucking go straight up a wall or my usual thing of just sitting on somewhere for oh shit, got to the end.
There's no way you can just like sit somewhere and get extra rockets or something. So that's usually what I do. Just sit on the rocket launcher. Cheers, Tabo.